can I run my Selenium automated test with some extension or can I run my automated test which is running on the web with some extension this is a very common question you will find on the internet and on the community side so answer is yes you can run your automated test with some extension for example you have certain plugins that you need during the execution now when you run your selenium automated test by default you will not be getting getting any extension you will not get any browser extension proxies cookies it's a fresh profile altogether but let's say now i want to run my automated test with some extension one of the great use case is let's say i want to start my selenium test with selectors hub extension selector hub is a great plugin tool you can say which will help you a lot and every qa must have this plugin so let's take this example so when you run your automated test and let's see your automation is stuck somewhere maybe it's failing because of some exception and now you want to inspect that element or you want to debug that particular script in that browser so one solution is you go back to your existing browser see where it is failing restart the point and then use the selectors hub or you can start your selenium test with selectors hub extension whenever it's failing immediately right click and start using selectors hub in the new session which is opened by selenium right so in this case i will show you how to get started how to work with one plugin how to work with two plugins how to work with multiple plugins and the process is very easy only thing is you need to download the crx file now what is crx file let's say so in order to understand this i'm going to use one plugin called get crx plugin so basically this plugin will help you to download any crx of that particular plugin so just like we have exe files we have jar files we have var files so similar way whenever you have any extension on chrome the extension is .crx file so basically in order to run our test we will mention this crx file first of all we will need to download then we will mention it and then we will run our automated test so i already have this extension so in case if you don't have just search for get crx or i will give you this link in the description just click here add to chrome and you're good to go so right now in, it is already available in my system so it says remove from chrome and this is what you will get so once you install this plugin basically if you have to download any extension just right click and you will get this option called get crx of this extension so step number one you have to check this one step number two let's say i want to use selectors hub again it's up to you which plugin you want to use but for example i'm using selectors hub which i use a lot whenever i'm running my automated test so let's say i'm searching for selectors hub right again it has pro version i will go with the community one and let's say this is the plugin that i want to use so right now it is already available in my uh, you know chrome so you can see a lot of extensions but when you run your automated test you will not get even a single extension so let's say i want to download this i will right click and you can see this option called get crx of this extension so i will click on it and i will keep somewhere in the specific location then i will copy paste so let's say i will save it somewhere and this crx file is downloaded can you see this now let's go back and let's write the test for this now i'm using uh, selenium 4.10.0 but the concept will remain same irrespective which version you're using so i will create a new class and i will say get selenium test with extension i'm using public static void main i'm using plain java application but in case we're using JUnit test in j please continue because ultimately i need to use something called chrome options okay before we move ahead i have already covered uh, two dedicated examples how to use chrome options what are the different capabilities it has so i will give the give that video link in the description or you will find somewhere on the screen you can go ahead and check it out so i'm assuming you're uh, starting from the scratch so let me create one object of chrome options so the moment you type chrome and control space from the keyboard you will get this option called chrome options class so the first example which you will see is what we need so you can use chrome options to add any extension while running your test on chrome browser so we'll quickly go ahead and create object so i will give the object name is opt but you can give any other name of your choice now once your object is ready you just type opt dot so you can see the multiple methods that we can use we don't need all these methods the method that i need is add extensions so the moment you put dot operation type add 
E, just type ext, so you will get two methods. One is add extensions. Now this will give you two methods. Basically these methods are overloaded. Here we are using method overloading because we have the same method add extension, add extension two times. But if you see the signature is different. The first method is asking you file where x. Basically you can pass multiple files. So you can see file dot 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 means variable length argument. You can pass one file, two files, multiple files. Second option is list of files. So here basically you will be using collection. So suppose you have three extensions, all extension will be in a file. Then you can create a list and pass the list. I will show you both the options in this example. So let's continue in the first one. Now it is expecting a file. So we are going to use a file class in Java. So either you can create object directly here and pass it or you can create separately and pass the reference here. I will create directly on the fly. I will say new file, control space, and it will ask me, give me the file path, where this file located. In our case, the file is the CRX file that we have downloaded. So right now it is available in some other location. Now I want to keep that file as part of my project. And the reason is, let's say today I'm running on my system. Tomorrow I will be running on EC2 instance, or maybe I'm running on a different virtual machine, right? In that case, the file, all the files, all the resources should be part of my project. Now again, you have two options here. Either you can dump all the resources inside SR Citrus resource, or you can create a folder called resources here. Or in my case, I will give this folder name is extensions. So right now I will take one example, but let's say if you have multiple extensions, you can keep all the extensions in this folder. So just allow me a minute quickly. I will copy the extension from that location to this location. Okay, so I have copied. Uh, we have paused the recording because I had some other files as well. Now you can see the CRX file is here. Just you need to copy and paste here. Now I will do the renaming part. Okay, so I will keep it straightforward selectors hub dot CRX file. Now what is next? I need to provide the file path. Again, multiple options. You can give the uh, relative path, absolute path. Absolute path I generally try to avoid because it will keep changing if I run my test on different systems. So I will keep it relative path. So relative path is basically either I can use dot, dot means current working directory, which will focus here. After this, I want to go to this folder. So I will say forward slash extensions. Okay. Then I will provide the file path, which is selectors hub dot CRX file. So let me save this copy this now our chrome options is ready only one thing you need to do is start your session web driver driver equal to new and now i will create object of chrome driver now again we have constructor overloading concept here you can see default constructor constructor with chrome driver service constructor with chrome options and this is what we have created today chrome options and pass this opt object here and now we are good to go so now i can continue with whatever application and it will continue so let me show you let me open any random application you can continue with your own application so let me do one thing first let me remove this and let me show you what is the current behavior when we don't pass opt here if i right click run as java application okay and yes it's starting so this is the fresh profile basically when i say fresh profile you don't have anything not even a single extension right let me close this or let's wait so until this is not loading completely it will not move to the next step this is what is happening it's still running once the page load is done yes it will stop now let me pass opt here and let me quit this one and execute it once again this time you will see the session which is running will be coming with extension. So yes, started. Now you will see one option here. Can you see this option? This is because of the plugin that we have downloaded. Now click on this and you will see select this out. Okay, so now let's do one thing. Let's right click on a specific element. First of all, you can see this option selectors up. You can directly continue using this, but let's say you want to use it completely. Now it will take some few seconds and it will start the developer tool. Okay, let me just 
keep it you can see these three dots right click on the bottom one so it will show you here now by default uh, selected sub comes to the last so if you see this two arrows click on this and you will see this selected sub you can simply drag and drop here and you can start using it now you don't need to go back to the previous browser inspect again and come back here now you can continue with the current active window that's a very interesting use case and uh, I have taken example of selected sub but you can take any example and you can continue now let me give one more example uh, so let's say you have one more extension called test case studio I want to load test case studio and selectors hub together in the new browser which is open so I will just go back here and again get the CRX of this plugin copy here now allow me a moment let me copy this file and let me keep in the extension folder so yes I have uh, copy pasted so now once I got the CRX file of test case studio now I can use that as well for example we have added only one extension here now I have one more extension so if you put mouse over again you can see we can pass multiple files files dot 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 so I'll put comma here and again new file and I can provide the separate extension so this part will remain same right because in the current working directory in the extensions folder and now I can copy this name okay let me just remove this here and I can paste here that's all now it will be starting a session with two extensions like this you can continue with number of extensions and it will start so let me execute once again and let me close the previous one this is also previous one so now if you click on this extension you will be getting to selectors hub and test case studio now in case if you're new to test case studio i made a dedicated video test case studio it's amazing it can increase the productivity because it has a lot of features which i don't want to reveal in this video check out the video and you will get to know amazing features of test case studio as well so that's all about this video uh, that's a quick video Again, I want to give you one more hint that let's say you don't want to give a file, you want to use list of files. So in that case, the concept will remain same. Only thing is in terms of writing the syntax will change. For example, if I want to show you, copy this. As I'm creating the separate example, but you can continue with the same example. So I created one more copy. In this way, let's say now I don't want to use file where X, I want to use list of files so i will say add extension now let's go with the second one list of files means i need to create a list now I have multiple options to create list either i can create array list uh, sorry list y array list list y link list or i can use arrays class so i can use arrays dot as list and now here also it is asking t dot 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 right basically i can pass multiple options depends on what options i will pass I will get the list of that type for example if I give multiple options as string I will be getting list of string if I pass everything as an integer I will get list of integer here I will pass everything as a file so I will get list of files and this is what this add extension requires so it says arrays dot as list new file then we will continue with second file and so on so in this case you just need to copy this file path here and file path here that's all so here i have used arrays dot as list which will return me list of files which will be added to the extension now again the second uh, syntax if you think it's a little complicated you can still continue with this first approach now there is a small assignment for all of you right now i'm using dot dot for current working directory there is a dedicated way where if you don't want to use dot because sometimes dot doesn't work in different operating systems so you can use system dot get property that also you can give a try so that's a enhancement for you take it as an assignment remove this dot and try to use system dot get property user dot dir and let me know the output so yeah that's all for this video in case if you find this use case uh, interesting little different then please share your love show some comment like this video share with your colleagues friends those who are working in selenium yeah, in case if you need more scenarios like this, let me know 
in the comment section and i will see you in the next video till then bye bye take care